little impromptu video. Um, why? Just cause. I um, think it's kind of needed. First of all, they're not pajamas, they're tracks with bottoms. I like them rolled up. It's not quite summer, it's not quite winter, it's in between. Um, I won't be wearing this, but it's just, it just says it. Right, why are we doing this video? This video is important because um, we've just come off of a SUP forum. Uh, usually 99% of the time they're awesome. Um, however, there's a lot of people enforcing their views um, about what you should and shouldn't ride. So this isn't about fat stick. This is about, this isn't showing off either. This is about why and how you should go about choosing a sup. So very briefly, this isn't the in-depth, this isn't, this isn't the, the be all end all, this is just what, what we believe. So, um, the most common question asked on a SUP forum most of the time, not under attack, it's just a light aircraft. Um, <laughs> the most common question asked on a SUP forum usually is, what board, size, width, shape should I get for my height and width and size myself? You know, I'm 100 kilos, what board should I choose? Oh, well you should choose X. So, I'm not gonna give you maths. What I'm gonna give you is my opinion, first of all, number one, Number one is ride the board yourself. That's it. If you can, and you're lucky enough to, and I know not everyone's lucky enough to be in that position, get on a board. I don't care whether it says Fanatic, or Fat Stick, or Starboard, or Nation, or JP, or, or um, there's loads of them, Hafter, McConks, they're all out there. There's just so many brands to try, try a board. Get an idea, get on that board, feel the weight, the, the width of it, and the, how stable it is. That's a good start. A good start is getting on the board. You start to know what board you like, you get to start to know what, what length of board you like and how wide it is. And there's so many different things. What I'm trying to get at here, really important, is that most of this information, most, not all, is subjective. It's for the individual, which is why it's key for you to get out on the board. So, the reason I've got all this out is this is the kit that we've got inhaling. This is some of the kit we've got inhaling. Pimp Panther, hardboard, 10 foot. Pimp Panther, ice up, 10 foot. Blue Lagoon, ice up, 10 foot six. Bullet, 10 foot six. Ice up, Blue Lagoon, nine foot five. Foamy, foamy, both 10 foot. Why am I telling you all this? Because I can ride each and every piece here. Because that's what it's made for. You know, surfing, you have a board because it takes a good level of skill. You know, you've got to start somewhere, but it's a level of skill. Same as windsurfing, same as kite surfing. You know, they're all, they all require starting low, building up. SUP, the purpose of SUP, the, the soul of SUP is anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Inclusive, not exclusive. Anyone can get on any one of these boards and paddle it. Ruben is 110 kilos. Sorry, Ruben. You can paddle a 9.5 ice up. It's perfectly good. Yes, all right, the rail's a little bit deeper in the water than when I paddle them, because I'm obviously dainty, but he could paddle it. That board is fine for Ruben. It's a nine foot five. Now you ask someone, should you go on that? If you're 110 kilos, should you buy one of those? No, shouldn't, definitely not. You should go big. Not the case. However, I wouldn't recommend a 9.5, but if you like it, paddle it. There's one thing, one thing in the SUP world that I would say is really important. One, this, your paddle. Why have I got an old batter paddle? Why have I not got a beautiful spanking new fat stick paddle? Why, because this is mine. This is mine, I've had this for a good few years now and it's good. And do you know what? It's battered and chipped and cracked and scratched and a little bit scrapey at the top and the, I think I've cracked the, I have cracked that, but do you know what? It's mine and I love it, and it's a two piece. I haven't gone one piece, I've gone two piece because we all use it. My son, my daughters, my wife, my friends, I use it, but I use it and I love it. It's mine. And this is probably the most important piece of equipment. Once you've found the sup length you like, sup size you like, and sup sort of shape you like, this is the bit you should really concentrate on. Because you can paddle anything as long as you've got a good paddle. And I believe that, that's my opinion. So, why are we going there? Because newbies coming into the group, into the world of SUP, they all decide that, sorry for the Harley Davidsons, there's a rally. 
newbies coming into the group, they decide they don't know what to do, they ask questions. Good. Questions are good. The question for you, why do you ride a Harley? It's so loud. So, questions are good. Use them, ask them, put them out there. But don't take them as gospel. The person that you need to trust is you. Get on a board, enjoy it, find what you like, love it. Sup is there for everyone. Sup can be done by anyone. It's a beautiful sport. It's a great thing to do. It's a massively, massively growing community. So be a part of it and don't get pushed away or or scared by, by people who are being a little bit elitist. This is what it is, this is what it's about. It's a bit of fun. Do you know what, it is fun. So, there we go, that's the preaching done. There's the preaching done. Get out on your boards, have fun, enjoy them. Tell us what you paddle, you know, put it out there. Even if it's a Harley Davidson. even if it's Harley Davidson. What do you paddle? Get on it, show us pictures, send them to us, put the message on this post, and more importantly, make sure you uh, subscribe. <laughs>